My friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Welcome back. Adventurers, please roll initiative. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're doing that. Select that token. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Push that button. Push that button. Oh, boo. Boo, Rude. Oh, rude. Well done, Doran. You did well there. Yeah. Let me yeah. see if I can click it to get me on the board. Whoa, what's going Still on? Still recovering from the stairs. Yeah. Still thinking about that. Uh... 18. So is that everybody then? Yeah. Yep, my new best friend. Oh, all right. Well, I'll just remove that extraneous Silas. And we will order this. And there we go. Rin, you are up first. All right. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. All right. Tell me, do you have to be able to see the target? Um. Yes, I do. Can I not? You can. However, do you recall what I said at the very end of the little bit of purple prose uh, that I spoke? Yes, if we uh, look upon her. If you look upon the creature riding this thing, you will be stricken blind. Well, you, you'll make a, uh, a constitution save or be stricken blind. Mm. So you either right. take that risk or look away. I will, all right, then I will hold off on uh, Hunter's Mark and I will just make my uh, two, I'll take two shots with my bow all right. at it. Are you averting your gaze? I'm going to avert my gaze. All right, then both of these attacks, you will be blind, considered blinded. You are dis, you are disadvantaged. What are you attacking? Uh, I'm going to attack what I thought I, you know, the, the large, massive creature. Okay. Uh, so, so I want to make sure everybody understands. There is a large sort of mass of rotten vegetation and uh, uh, vines and that sort of thing surrounding a beholder on top of which is riding this creature from the Feywild. Uh, everybody okay. got it? And, and can we reasonably assume that we think that's Apple's mom or not? Uh, you would have to get a pretty good look. Do you want to get a pretty good look? I do not. All right. <laughs> um, all right. So this so, is the first attack. Uh, if that is with disadvantage, I hit at 25. Yeah, two 25s. Yes, you do hit. So that's uh, five piercing damage. You then... avert your gaze as best you can, not looking on the woman, and you send the arrow streaking across the space. It passes through the light emanating from here and here and strikes the behemoth and doing no. nine points total uh five. no it's just it's just five oh that's, five points i see yes and then i'm gonna Got take it. a second attack uh also a disadvantage i assume mm -hmm. correct that one is only 10. i'm afraid that misses okay and i will take my movement to step out of the doorway all right so we have a frame of reference because it's difficult to see where things are facing and such. We will be using this as our understanding of where things are in relationship to what, if you are in an area where you need to avert your gaze. Is that clear? Yeah, can you put that below the yes. creature tokens? Sorry. Better? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Right. 
So we can, so just to, to clarify, so we can tell from like where I am, I feel like if I stepped back a foot or two, I could look in that direction without being um, potentially blinded. Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, okay. I just, yeah, okay. That was what I was asking. And then, Sean, like, mm -hmm. in the in the glimpse that we've had of this creature, is the, the fey on, like, riding on top of the shambling mound? Is it part of the shambling mound? Uh, you didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. And, and, I, and I don't want to. All right. <laughs> so that is end of Rim's term. Next we have, it's, it's, it's Persephone, although her name's not on the tarp. The, the, oh, yeah, that's, that's weird. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to use my full, my movement. I, mean, I don't know why I'm having trouble discerning the squares right now. Um, so. Uh, well, if you go, well, let's see, one, two, three, four. If you go four down on the thing on the top, you'll see a, a device that if you click on will allow you to measure distances. So click on that and then click on your token and drag out. There you go. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That? No, that's the that's that, that's the one. Uh, all right. I'd like to move to here. All right. Um as you cross these tokens here, no, 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 there no. is gore and bone on the floor here, which changes into broken rubble. Considered difficult terrain, and because you're a barefoot, probably will damage you. So, could I still yeah. get? You could still here? do it. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Um, uh, so I'm here, and then as I'm running, I say as loud as I can, "Apple sent us. We're here to help." All right. Uh, so let's see. You moved one, two, three, four. When you reach this spot right here, you have to stop. Okay. Um, Unless you wish to keep moving and only move. Right, right. Uh, no, I'm gonna, with disadvantage, try to hit the beholder looking thing. You are specifically targeting the beholder. Yes, I'm sorry, what was Rim attacking? Rim attacked the behemoth. Okay, oh. then I would like to attack the same thing. Okay. You. Uh, with my uh, I'm confused. There's a beholder, a behemoth, yeah. and a. Um. Yeah. Um. Which what is the confusion? What's the what issue? Is what? Where's the beholder? Yeah, re-clarify the what, what's riding. The what? beholder is contained within the oh. shambling mound. Okay. The shambling mound has engulfed the beholder. Okay. You can see the beholder through. But it has uh, a partial cover, so you can target that at disadvantage. Does the beholder look target... dead? Hmm? Does the beholder look me? dead? Uh, you would have to get a better look in order yeah. to determine that. Uh, but it is Persephone's turn. Persephone? Uh, yes, so I... Uh, so you shot a 13 yeah. disadvantage. I'm afraid that missed. Are you done? Yes, I think I have to be. All right, Typhon, your turn. All right, um, I will step back and way up to here, and it's time to burn away this rot. And I hiss through my teeth as I begin to draw three concentric circles like a triple looped infinity sign, and my hand begins going faster, 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 and red pulsating motes of light three of them appear and then whoosh, 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 whoosh. Uh, well that was four but does that three times and then shoots in that direction as I send a scorching ray towards it excellent um let's catch this is it. a Ooh, very That's nice the first one does this have to be a target that you can see it does all right, you are outside of the range of the blinding beauty, so you are good. Okay, um, so I have a 23. I'm just going to 23 it. hits. Separate for and a 17 and another 23. All three of those hits. Nice. What are you targeting? Um, the mound, the 
the rot that seems All right. to that the rider is upon. Very so good. we will deal. That's wow. Nice. Wow. Super average. <laughs> the most average. <laughs> Twenty-one <laughs> points of fire damage. Total. Got it. Done. What's Are you finished do against a shambling mound? What's that? What's that do against a shambling mound? Yeah. We'll see. Uh, it appears to have damaged it. Huh. Cool. Is it a light? Burn it away. Um, cauterize this creature away from the mother. And then I will be, um, I'll be done with that. That's good. All right. Excellent. Uh, that is the end of Typhon's turn. Next, it looks like we have Jax. Oh. He's going to close his eyes. Can't bear to look. And then, uh, move past Persephone. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Open my right, eyes these, and take a peek. These spaces here are uh, difficult terrain. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll look. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, so, what was there? What's up? Where was I here? You were. It's hard to see the mm -hmm. thing. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, it's 25, 30. So I'd be here then for 30. And I'll just open my eyes and take a peek and risk it. Mm -hmm. You are in the clear from there. You are not, you can see uh, everything, but you are not getting the full force of the blinding beauty. There's a pillar here, so I'm guessing I probably can't see the creature. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Yes, you cannot see. Quite right. Um, but I know roughly where it is, I think. No, I'm going to, can I prepare something? Uh, yeah, you can um, hold a. Uh, ready in action? What is I, your action? I get out a um uh, what they, what's it called? Oil. Oil, okay. Oil flask and ready to light it. To, to what is it. the trigger? Um if as soon as I can see it. Alright. Very good. Silas. Um I'm going to lob a bless. Hopefully this will show. Show twice, interesting. And I'm going to bless uh, Persephone, Falkron, and myself. Mm. Very nice. We get a plus d4 to all attacks and saves. Yeah, and, and let's pick, uh, where, where was that one we used last little halo gimmick? All the way at the bottom of the icons. Sure. So you got it, and who else? Uh, Persephone and Falkron. Persephone and Falkron. Just for the record, because I think Typhon can, will have good saving. Hashtag blessed. Very good. <laughs> Are you done? And, uh, no, then I'm going to... Uh, Move one, two. Uh, it's five, ten. Where does the gore start? Gore starts in front of the door. Okay, it actually starts a little before the door, but it becomes okay. difficult terrain in front of the door. Three, four, five, six, and I'm done, and I need to do anything? Um, you need to tell me that you are averting your gaze. I'm, I'm certainly disgusted, yes. All right. I'm looking down at all the gore that I'm wading through and going yeah what's that uh, uh, uh. yeah <laughs> you finished are you finished well yes <laughs> very good it is now the behemoth's turn it moves one two three <laughs> and attacks persephone well, thankfully it's hit the heaviest armor <laughs> uh, let me see here. I need to adjust the view to that. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. A couple attacks coming at you. Hurt your eyes, Marion. Hurt your eyes. Hitting DC 14. Oh, does my uh, thing go off, by the way? 
Oh, it does. It does. Thank you for reminding me. Please take your attack. I don't know what I need to do for it. Is it just a ranged attack? Uh, yes, ranged attack. Oh. Okay, I'll uh, use... So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll back... I, I won't go to the trouble to back it up at the moment, but we'll say as soon as it came around the corner there, you tossed... Uh, well, that looks like you did your short bow, so this was a ranged an... attack. So, yeah, just a, yeah, yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Same thing, is ranged it? Okay. plus six, yeah. Uh, but you would get your proficiency bonus with your short bow, so we'll take take uh, away okay. the, the two of it. But however, the 21 does hit. Um, I don't know, was it a d6? But this, but this is going to be you did not say you were averting your gaze, so. <laughs> Let's see. When you when you prepared the attack, you were outside of the Blinding Beauty, but now you are in the Blinding Beauty. So I will say you can either choose to make the attack at uh, normal, so that'll be a 21, um, and then make a, a con save to see whether or not you were blinded. Uh, I'll do it at a disadvantage. It's fine. Disadvantage. Okay. It's, a, it's only got a land next to it to explode, I think. So I think for oil. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I've never thrown normal before. Let's look it up. <laughs> Does it get sneak attack? Uh, yeah, the sneak attack or is your weapon? He's within five yeah, five. it has to be with a weapon. And it also it needs to have a discernible anatomy. Hmm. There's a big old not, eye in it. Yeah, it does not <laughs> say that it is resistant to precision damage, yeah. I mean it is a it weapon. It's so a tough one, isn't it? It is. <clears throat> when advantages, he's got an ally within five feet, so... That's true. Let's well, see. go ahead and say you have sneak attack. Why not? Okay. Um, if it hits, of course. <laughs> Last time I splashed myself with hot oil, it hurt a lot. Uh, okay. So this is a disadvantage. Can I have another attack roll? Oh, so it's already got 23 and a 14, so... Oh, 14. Uh, I'm afraid the 14 does not hit, so it bounces off of the behemoth and lands. Just a moment. Do, 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 do. Just a second. My, uh... Cool. There we go. It lands... Here. Uh, according to the dice. Sorry, sorry. And shatters. And shatters. <laughs> Is it on fire already, or um, is it just oil? Well, I would have lit it and threw it, so yeah. Okay, yes, all right. So, roll damage for us. I believe it is 1d6 points of fire damage. Uh, so it'd be three and then ten sneak. Okay. So uh, we will assume that you were not sneak attacking Silas. So Silas, no. take three points of uh, fire damage. As does the mound. I should point out that the fire damage against this thing does not seem to be damaging it as much as you think it should be. Ah. So, you know, it's like difficult to see. It's doesn't... difficult to tell without looking right at it. So I, but now that someone is right there, um. You're looking down, Jax, as you throw the thing, and you see the oil splash onto the behemoth, and it catches a light, and you can see it start to crackle up, but then it sort of dies away. Hmm. So now that that is done, it attacks Persephone. Two massive sections of the thing come swooping out, like giant arms, one from the right, one from the left, just cascading towards you, hitting AC 16. It's... Doing 13 points of bludgeoning. Ooh. And AC 9. Does not hit. Does not hit. That is the end of its turn. Fuck I uh, I take my reaction and move mm -hmm. 15 foot away from it. 5, 10, 15. Without, Does without it... provoking. Right, because... Now, I don't believe you get your reaction because you used it to hold. Oh, really? A, yes. Oh, okay. You, you you made your reaction for this round. Your held attack, okay. so you do not get another reaction. Wait, don't goblins get disengaged as a bonus action? Uh, I think that I've would lost be different. Them. 
that would be different, but that this this is your reaction. That would have had to have happened during your actual turn. Oh, okay. Um, I can. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't do that now. A bonus action. Right. So yeah. Correct. So Falcon. I hear like the shambles and the cracks and the crunch of bone. I come around the corner, uh, and as I hit there, it's difficult terrain. So I am gonna go ahead and like try to like suss out where I see this shambling pile of grossness. I'm not, I'm averting my gaze. Thank you. So as I do that, I cast a guiding bolt at the shambling mound. Did that show up? Yes. All right. So that is a seven. Go ahead and roll just to, that's the, that is a critical miss. So I'm going to say that you missed. Um, with disadvantage, because that would definitely be the worst, correct? Yes. All right. All right, so I'm afraid you miss, and the spell slot is lost. No. Anything else? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to cast uh, 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 spiritual weapon. Can you cast... I don't believe you can use a bonus action to cast a spell if you've cast a spell that takes that is it that is not a cantrip. Isn't it leveled spells? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can't cast. You two can cast. You, yeah. You can't cast two leveled spells. You can do a bonus action spell and then cast another spell as long as it is a cantrip, but you cannot do a bonus action spell and a leveled spell. And in a single action. I learned something today. All right. Good to know. You cast cantrip. Uh, so then. I, uh, so then I'll go ahead and, uh, toll the dead then, uh, uh, on again, you've cast a leveled spell. Oh. So that means that you, toll you the dead can, is a cantrip. Yeah. Toll but, the dead is a cantrip. They're both so, actions though. They're both actions. Oh, so yeah. you ah! can, you can cast a spell oh. that is a bonus action and then you can cast a cantrip. You cannot cast a spell that is a bonus action and a spell that is an, uh, a leveled spell. I'm like, all right. So, uh, just for a point of clarity, then, could I make then a melee attack and then do the bonus action spell? Or like, yes. Okay. All right. So now, I pray. <laughs> okay. Very good, Doran. Right. Well, I would like to push past my allies here. Uh, make I think sure I you do get... double double movement for the squares that they are occupying. Yeah. I think I can just get right up to here, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I am not averting my gaze. All right. Uh, please make a con save. Natural one. You 15. gaze upon a creature of sublime beauty. Uh, she's pretty, to be sure, in a sort of graceful, alien way. But in her eyes, you feel flowing through her, some primal force, something that just wants to suck you in. So the blinding beauty is not so much that she is so gorgeous, it's that she is actually channeling something that compels you to look at it and nothing else. However, you blink your eyes and have managed to resist. Um, you have a good view. So she is standing on top of this thing, her hands outstretched, and green energies flowing from her hands down into the shambling mound and the area directly underneath her is colored green and verdant however most of the shambling mound is dead and just rotten and it seems as if it's creeping higher with each attack what do you do um, the beholder that's in there, does it look like it's moving at all or anything, or is that It thing seems dead? completely frozen. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack the Shambling Mound then. I have to help my friend's mother. Um, I'm going to... What is it? Hex, hex something... Curse, Hex, Curse, Hex Blades, Curse. There we okay. go. On a Shambling Mound. Um, it's a bonus action, it's a right? bonus action, yeah. So the shambling Mound is uh, coist. And then I'm going to just, uh, let's see. I did. Booming Blade, sure, why not? So the energy shows up on my sword, and I take a swing. 
Somehow, here's a long sword. Thirteen. I'm afraid the thirteen does not hit. And no one deigned to bless me. So, I guess oh. that's it. <laughs> the cry of the unblessed. <laughs> um, that's it. Yeah. Nothing All else right. for me. Very good. Uh, we are back to the top of the, of the round. Rim. All right. Uh, I'm going to draw back my arrow and uh, aim again for the shambling blade. Still averting my eyes. Right. Uh, you need to tell me at the beginning of your turn if you are averting your eyes. I apologize. No yes. Uh, You're outside um, of its range, though, aren't you? He wasn't when he was when he started. Oh, I see. When I started, yeah. Um, um, Thirteen, I'm afraid, does not hit. Nope. Um, Persephone. All right. You're blessed. Thank you. Uh, I am going to. Uh, avert my eyes and uh, hit with my rapier. So do I roll twice because that's disadvantage? Uh, yes. And this is the shambling mound. Okay. I'm afraid the nine does not hit. Alright, and then I'm going to take my bonus action and do my best with my dagger. Oh. That's oh, so yeah. sad. I'm afraid not. Yeah. That's it for Persephone. Would, would the blessing do anything for those at all? Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> no, the dagger wouldn't. Both well, of those nines, a nine and a nine. Yeah. Nine and a nine. Neither one would work. Would would, would succeed. Try him. Um, Typhon. Unless you wish to move for seventy. No, thank you. All right. So, I let's see. Am I now in the area? Yes. Okay. So I need. I did not avert my gaze. It okay. Sounds. So. Then you need to make a constitution save. 11. You are blinded. Neat. Uh... My, my faith <laughs> in you diminishes, Typhon. My faith in you diminishes. Hmm. That's fun. Okay. Um, there is <clears throat> very little I can do in that case. I shall... Um, stumble until I just run into this wall. <laughs> That's your turn. Feel the edge of the wall, and then um, cast a minor illusion to look like there's a brick wall in front of me. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Next up, we have Jax. Everything uh, I do relies on sight. <laughs> I will disengage. Right. By averting my eyes. So what? Five, ten. 15. Mm -hmm. Is that still difficult terrain? It is. Okay. Thank you very much, Silas. Uh, so 5, 10. How much of it's difficult? Uh, everything you are standing on there is all difficult. Oh, okay. So, right, so let me go back. So You can see the rubble, correct? 10. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, so 10. Yeah, that's a lot of gore. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Uh, so, hang on, so 10, 20. So 30, ring. yeah, kick, as a disengage. Kick. Mm -hmm. um, What's your movement? 30. Okay. Uh, and then I, I I turn and look at the creature. Right. So your action was to disengage. Um, My bonus action. Your bonus disengage. action was to disengage. Okay, so your action is to do a perception check? Um, I just want to look at it so I, and see if I'm blinded. If not, I'm going to shoot. You are not blinded. Okay, I will shoot at, uh, my... Shortbow at the creature. At the behemoth? At the behemoth, yep. Alright. That seems to be what I, I notice everyone else shooting. And a shortbow coming up. Ding! 16. 16 hits. I'm just, I don't have advantage, do I? Um, That's only if I'm stealthed. Only if you're stealthed or if it's engaged with one of your allies. Okay, so 24 then. So you don't, you don't have advantage, but you do get sneak attack. Oh, that's what I mean. So yeah, I don't, I don't get advantage. I only get advantage if I'm stealthed. Right, the sixteen yeah. hits. Um, so so fourteen that's... damage. Great. All right, that is your turn, Silas. Mm. I, 
well, never mind. Did you? Did I skip you? No, I forgot. I this is my first time playing a wizard in this class. I forgot my most important class feature applied to that last turn, which was that the war wizard, where I can add four to a saving throw as a reaction. <laughs> we like the O is like the most important time we to could, use it. We, we can retroactively remember that if you'd I, like. I'm so sorry. I, I don't I feel right. bad about that. But it's like the only reason you choose this class, and I just forgot to do it. <laughs> Silas, do you mind if we go back in time and allow Typhon to succeed in his saving throw? Assuming a... F yeah, well... Silas, a 15 does succeed. Okay. I will use my reaction to do that, in which case I can only use cantrips as part of the class feature. But I will use then... Um, I will... Um, uh, hiss again as a bit of green liquid dribbles f over my lip and down my chin and a spectral um, snake sort of starts slithering around and then curling tight around part of that shambling mound as my flavored version of chill touch. That's not going to matter. So mm, I'm afraid it didn't hit. All right. Now, Silas. everyone fast forward. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not blind. I'm not blind. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sorry. It's okay, a snake will be a snake. Um, I'm going to Don't step... Don't tread on me. <laughs> <laughs> step Silas. forward. Silas, you need no. to tell me at the beginning no. of your turn if you are averting your gaze or not. I am not. All right, please make a constitution save. Don't forget to add your blessing. Constitution save... I don't have the bless on, so I'm just going to add it. It's a 15 base. You succeed. Again, you are able to gaze upon this creature of the Feywild. It's beyond compelling. You wish you could just stare at this expression of life and verdant promise for your entire existence, but you shake it off. Are, are the, this... This isn't marked as a, a child-friendly broadcast, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> too, too, um, too bad for the bitch. She pales in comparison to my goddess. Ah, uh, very good. 5'10", 5'10", 15'20", 25'30", through the muck. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to start hacking away. Um, so first attacking with... The glaive. Um, do I have any sort of advantage of any kind based on anything? You anything are anything? directly flanking with Persephone, so that's a plus one to your attack. Plus one to the attack. Okay, the attack is then a nine, so a ten. So I'm afraid that doesn't succeed. Bless. It's up. Oh, that's and, right. Uh, yeah, I'll try the bless. Yeah, and then a d4 for a four. four. So thirteen, <laughs> which four, it would 14. actually be a fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Um, yes, which is. Just not enough. Oh. Uh, come on, Typhon. Come on. I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. It's just not enough. <laughs> the story of my life. How many times have I heard that? Come on, Typhon. <laughs> um, the behemoth oh. thunder, and th and hence his thunder has been stolen. Uh, I'm done. The behemoth. <laughs> the behemoth whirls to face you, uh, Silas. Which is hard to tell. Really, all that it it means is that. The um, if I can figure out how to turn it. There it is. Okay, this is quite awkward. It's a behemoth. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Rules to face you that way, and attacks. Ah, hitting AC nine. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> and AC seventeen. Uh, that wow. is a meat to beat. Seventeen is what it needed. Mm -hmm. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Well, that hurt. Um, gosh, yes, nine points. You're lucky it can't engulf you. Um, that is its turn. Fulcrum. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, so since it's now looking at Silas, do I need to avert my gaze on this thing? Or If you begin your turn in this cone, you must... Tell me you're averting your gaze or roll a constitution save. I, if you do not, then you're good to go. I, I am not averting my gaze. All right. But since I'm not in the cone, no worries. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
cast spiritual weapon, which I allows. Think. So as I, as I like take, so I take this last turn to sort of prayer up, and as you see this, like, well, here's the hope that you see this spectral hammer. Oh. No. Uh, well, the spectral hammer does appear. Yeah. Give me a moment to call it up. Huzzah. And so then, as I like, as I like, so you see me like, like using, so with my hammer in the other hand, like you see me then sort of summon. Where, where do you want it to uh, appear? I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, it, so it's, it's, I want it to literally strike the back of the mound. So like, as it, so as I like have my hammer in my one hand, I then summon the spectral one in my other, and then I you see me kind of just shuck it into the back of the mound as All I right. charge forward to hit it myself. All right, so it misses. Yes, it does. And you move into melee range and attack. Indeed, indeed. So as I like charge in, raise the war hammer. Uh, and your spirit sprinkles. <laughs> Uh, 19 hits. And, and a blessing, and a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> a blessing? Uh, well, it won't make a difference, but sure, yes, you are blessed. We'll say you rolled the four. You got a 23, and you did eight points of bludgeoning. Um, who is currently looking at... So this will be everybody who has yet to go who has not averted their eyes. Uh, Does Billy Silas? I think Jax? Doran? And Doran? Does that right. count when she turned to face me and the AoE changed? Um, you will. It will count when it is your turn. So up until that point, you're good. Um, when Falkran does damage to the mound, bits and pieces of it slough off and fall onto the ground with a slurping sound. And you see the black creep higher up onto it. And it looks like it is pushing away the green and the expression on the woman's face sort of changes to one of con of deeper concentration. Yes. Doran, your turn. All right. Well, I'm going to give it another swing of my sword. Not going to bother with a spell on it. Just trying to hack through this nonsense. Right. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Great. That's twelve slashing plus two for the hex, so fourteen. Or for the curse or whatever. Alright. And that will be it for me. Very good. That is the end of this round. One moment, please. Okay. It's really interesting how this thing went from black and green to green and black, and I have no idea, meta or otherwise, what that means. Yeah, so that's yes. interesting. And I am resisting the urge to Google it very quickly. <laughs> 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 uh, fourth wall, sorry. Um, but uh, <sighs> good. The, the woman on top shakes her eyes and lifts one hand up. Just looks around as if suddenly becoming aware of your presence. It says. Does anybody speak Sylvan? I have, uh, if I can cast magic, but on my turn I can. Uh, you cannot. Okay. Does anybody speak Sylvan? Not I, said the cat. All right. No. She looks down at you, Falcon. Um, one moment, please, while I look something up. My goodness, that thing is. Uh, now it's talking to us in languages we don't even understand. Which would we be able to, like, kind of insight check to determine if there's sort of an ulterior motive happening here? If these On are your turn, you could. Opposing forces. Okay. On just, your turn, yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got It's a hard situation to understand here. So It is. By design. design. No. <laughs> it's not. So I want to call her a way way As, as, as abuela. my As, as, abuela. <laughs> I, I, I thought that from the very beginning. Ab abuela? Ab abuela? Yeah. Oh, no. Immediately, yeah. <laughs> abuela? Oh. Abuela? Uh, abuela. As, as, my, as, my, uh, as my 13 year old would say, shocking gasp. 
<laughs> All right, um, Falkran, your armor begins to be uncomfortable. As she's looking down at you and has her hand out, she's got one hand um, on the mound, furiously pouring green energy into it. As she points another hand at you, and your armor begins to glow red hot. Take six points of fire damage. Hmm. Persephone. All right. Um... I do not have to avert my gaze, correct? Because correct. I'm not back home. Great. So I am going after uh, with my rapier. Um, that hits. Yes. What is your target? Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, mount. The still. All right. And um, uh, uh, gameplay question for D and D Beyond when I picked the feature of um, dual weapon fighting, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna use my dagger, is it already generating the extra damage that I get? It, it should, should we be, can check. yes. We can, we can hover over the formula yeah. and check. Do you get extra damage then for your offhand? Correct. That, yeah. yeah, so that be, checks it, out. It, yep. it, yeah, it's, it's, it's including it. So another five, good to go. Nice. Right. You see the blackness creep further up it is now almost to the top. And inside, you begin to see the eye of the beholder start to narrow. It's before it's been staring, almost transfixed. And now it's starting to narrow and you're beginning to see the pupils start to dilate and focus a bit. Are we the bad guys? Uh, I think we are. We are the bad guys. Rim, your turn. All right, uh, I am now going to cast Hunter's Mark, and I'm going to do so on um, uh, on the Beholder itself. And I'm very going good. To knock an arrow back, and I am going to uh, aim directly for the large eye. Now, I believe that uh, Hunter's Mark allows you to uh, ignore partial cover. Am I correct that about is... that? Or is that a feat? Uh, that, that might that be is... the. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a feat. Uh, no. Um, it gives me the ability to find it if it hides uh, or disappears, and it also adds 1d6 for every successful attack. Very good. So I'm going to uh, aim... Roll that attack, please. It has eye. partial cover. I'm afraid and that, that is does a not succeed. Critical miss. Do you wish to move? I do not. All right. Typhon, your turn. Okay. Um, am I able to see this eye now more clearly? Uh, make a perception check. From where you were before you just moved. Oh. It yeah. is facing away from you. Okay. Although the um, beholder the beholder is actually facing for Persephone. Yeah. That's so yeah, I, I'll so say if yes. If I'm moving, you, can I get to Yes, a you place can, where see, I can it. see it. I, I, I won't make you make a perception check. You can see okay. it. Okay. Cool. Um then I will do the same thing I did before with the um threefold infinity sign, and then this time try and direct the energy directly into that eye. Very good. It has partial cover. Okay. It can take its partial cover. And I will, let's see, first roll is a six. That careens off and blasts yeah. into the ball. And, okay. Let's keep going. Um, oh, it's being a little weird on me here for casting because it's three attack rolls. So, second one Ooh, is a critical hit. Very nice. Ooh. And then the third one streaks at it for 24 to hit. Two hits. One of them are critical. Show me that damage. Hey, yo. Very so nice. 16 plus another eight. I wow. just made all of them one better. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, 24 points of fire damage total. Those of you who are not averting and can see, can see a little bit of the green come back into the top of the mound. Very good. I, that um, is it. Of I will Typhon's shout turn. then it's part of my turn. The eye! Strike the eye! That is the end of Typhon's turn. Jax! Um, okay, he will try to shoot the eye from where he is. If I can see it. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. Um, 
Am I classed as flanking there with Silas? The flanking bonus only occurs with melee attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, well, we'll just shoot it. Uh, missed. Yes, you did. <laughs> Anything else? Um... No, I can't really do anything else. Silas? I'm a one-trick pony. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to listen to the Scream's advice, and I'm going to attempt to use my glaive to take a swipe and strike straight into the eyeball. All right. Um, the eyeball is actually facing away from you, uh, but you can make the attack against the beholder. You have the ability to see it, um, whether or not it's hitting the eye is irrelevant. Um, yeah. It does still have partial cover, though. Sorry, Sean. Can I can I move like here and uh, hide? Um, bonus action hide. Yeah, if I yeah. can. Yes, you. So. Well, that's not. You don't break line of sight with anybody by moving there. In order to hide, you need to break line of sight. Uh, so I was uh, moving here if I can and hide. But One I can't moment. really see it there because it's black. I don't think we can see what's up there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I will fix that. So all of this is... You're, you're basically climbing over mounds and mounds of rubble. Yeah. Or hide within um, the rubble, if I can. Yeah. Make a stealth check. Yes. Sorry, Scott. I just remembered I could do something. It's 15 stealth. All right. Uh, give me a moment. It's <coughs> a two-trip pony. Yeah. I can hide real well. Not, not in this case. Oh, <laughs> tremor sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, right. Um, forgot about that. Um, I can hide from so, the beholder, though. You're not supposed to say it out loud. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so. I can hide I from the beholder, saying, though, can't I? Um, yes, you could. One moment. And he's got his eyes right, like a slit. That was a 15. Ah, okay. No, that was a 15. Your 15 was to hide? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, yeah, so. All right, good to know. Um, so that was Jax, but you went out of order, Jax. Yeah, sorry. Who, whose turn was it? Scott. Scott. Silas, did you attack? Yep. Yeah. I'm about to. I was uh, just ready to click on it. So attacking with the glaive, the beholder, I've got a plus one flanking and then a, and then a bless. Mm -hmm. So the attack roll itself is a 12. 13. Plus one is 13, plus a d4 is three, hey. so a total of 16. 16. I'm afraid that that does not hit the Beholder. You actually hit the Shambling Mound. Please roll the damage. Damn it. It's nine damage. Nine damage. And then I'm just going to uh, take a 510 step right there. Oh, and I'm, I'm afraid I forgot to ask for the... Um, are you no, averting no. your gaze or no um, i'm not okay so make a con so save con. please oh damn you gotta do that each round it's a nine <gasps> uh let me do my d4 bless is a three is a 12 total. Rage, you are uh blinded so that attack would have been a disadvantage can you make that attack again please same thing um well, no, no less, less, actually. It's no, nine, this is less. So. so you missed completely, actually. All right. So good to know. All right. Now, what do you do? Am I, and I'm blind now? You are blind. Uh, then I'll stay where I am since I'm blinded. All right. The behemoth goes. Mm. Behemoth whirls and lashes out at Falkron. That's fair. That's fair. Um, how do I move this thing? You know, roll 20 is great, but occasionally it's very counterintuitive. All right, um, Silas, you are technically outside of the, the range. I can't quite make it stay where I want it to go. So although you appear to be in it, you are out. Understood? He's AFK. Okay. okay. Uh, so, two attacks on Falkron. Uh -oh. That is a critical. Falkron takes 17 points of bludgeoning. Lovely. All right. Mommy. 
And I am now unconscious. Oh, Takes its second attack Lovely. at you, which is an automatic critical because you are um, incapacitated, which means you automatically lose two uh, death saves. Oh, I'm so sorry. Falcon, right. it is your turn. Oh. Roll a oh, death God. save. Is it, oh my God. All right, remember, does, does Bless work on that? It does. All right. Uh, you, where, you did, where you just roll a d, d20. Yeah, so... I forget, guys. Where's the, where's the thing to actually... It's the little d20 in between the two? Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, oh, no! Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Falkron, do you have any last words? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Let me say. In suffering, we all learn to heal. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Falkron, you've died. Yeah. All right. Next we have Doran. Only we were level five or something. Um, well, damn. I guess I get angry and keep hitting the. Well, I'm going to hit the um, the holder, uh, and I'm not going to avert my gaze. Okay. Please uh, roll a con save. Um, Ten. Are you blessed? Nope. Nope. All right. You are blinded, Doran. Make your attack at disadvantage. All right. Uh, where's my... There's my... Uh, 15. Uh, 15 hits. So seven nice. points of slashing. Does plus it get two. extra... So plus two. Nine. Wait, 15? Oh, no. Wait, what did I... Do you get a bonus to hit with the long... No, no. It's to damage. 15, so it is. it has partial cover. I'm afraid that does not hit. Oh, the dog um, is sad. No, I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry, puppy. No. Um, that is Doran's turn. We're back to the top. Oh. Silas, I died, not you. <laughs> Vela looks like she's concentrating on the heat metal that sees you fall and turns back to the uh, mound and puts both hands onto the mound and is forcing... Uh, energy into the top of the mound. Um, and she's now concentrating on that. Persephone, your turn. Um, all right, I'm going to uh, uh, attack the eye of the holder because I think I actually can see the eye. Yeah. Are you averting your gaze? No. All right, make a constitution safe. Uh, are you blessed? You are. Roll yeah. a d4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm so sorry. For 70, you are blinded. Oh God, you guys. Roll a uh, roll your attack with disadvantage. Oops. That's not, I meant you, my attack. So. Okay, we'll just we'll redo that one. So right here. So the fifteen, you're attacking the uh, the eye. Yes, and then the fifteen plus four. Plus the fifteen plus four, right? And she's flanking. And she's flanking. Good. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I was attacking the eye, and mm -hmm. now I'm gonna do the same thing with my dagger. Nice. All right. Can you roll me a d4 for that fifteen, please, on the rapier? Excellent. Okay, both the rapier and the dagger hit. So let's see. We'll go back up to that 15. So that's five piercing for the rapier and five piercing for the dagger. You plunge your blades into the uh, beholder, blinded, screaming with rage, seeing your friend. The last thing that you saw before being consumed by the beauty of the Feywild. You plunge your blades where you think this beholder is and you feel this foul flesh give underneath the points of your blade. Next up is Rim. I am out of the gaze, am I not? I'm um, you are... 
Uh, let's see. I tell you what. I'm going to roll a d6. If it's even, you are in. If it's odd, you are out. Fair All enough. Right. Sure. It is odd. So you are out. What? I'm out. Uh, all right. I roar uh, in anguish, uh, seeing my friend fall, and I draw back my blade or my uh, my bow and aim for the eye. Ah, that's a hit. Um, does it do extra damage with the Oh, it mark? does. It does. Yeah. Bonus ouchies. All right. Let's see. Hang on. Bonus ouchies. Uh, total of 13. With Excellent. The bull, it's difficult to see for sure because of all of the vegetation and uh, corruption around it, but it appears that this beholder is not doing well, and you see the green from Abela's arms forcing its way down. It is now more than halfway down the, uh, the mound. The mound has changed from being this slimy, black, disgusting putridness, and it's becoming more verdant and uh, uh, other words that mean the same thing as verdant. <laughs> uh, next, we have Typhon. Typhon, you are all, you are in the. Um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I killed a character. It's very, uh, it's very, very traumatic for me. Typhon, you um, you that. are need to tell me if you are averting or not. I am not. All right. Please make a constitution save. You failed. Eight, 18 is my result. Oh, 18? Is, you have a bonus? I do. Um, advantage. Advantage on constitution is, saves. Uh, magical effects? That's a good question. Let me just check. Hello. I cannot determine, based on what I'm reading, um, if this is a oh. magical effect or a natural effect. So I'm going to err on the side of the... Uh, player, it is going to be a magical effect. So you do have uh, advantage, which means you did save. Okay, cool. Um, then in that case, oh boy, not a lot of super good options here. So um, I will just move the sort of spectral snake and try and move it to sort of bite around that eyeball with my uh, hoping to cause some damage with a chill touch. Um, I have a 20 on my roll as a result. As that a is result. a hit. Yeah, you managed to circumvent the uh, the cover. Very nice. Okay, and it'll deal six points of necrotic damage. Very nice. Good. You see, uh, since you were able to resist the effects of the Blinding Beauty, you see the green continue downwards on the shambling, spot, uh, shambling mound. Next up, we have Jax. Ooh, um, he will peer around a corner, have a quick look at the, and see your Falcon, the first person to talk to him. Oh, she's dead. Uh, and then we'll take a shot <laughs> at the beholder. Hopefully, the beholder didn't see me. He did not. He did not. Da, da, da. 23 to hit. That oh, hits. Nice. Very uh, nice. 12 points of damage. Oh. And the green use... is almost completely engulfed. I will the shambling mind. Fury of see... the small. Oh, oh nice. yes. Rub it in there. I do an extra. I think it's two points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a total of. I think. Hang on. Fury of the small. Three points of every damage. Have that in your face. <laughs> 15. Oh, the, uh, you can see the green is beginning to crush the beholder. It's closed its mouth in gritting its teeth. And then our bonus and, action hide. And, uh, and Abela's <laughs> on top just like pouring the energy down. Come on, Grandma. Next. Uh, okay, good. You've hidden. Excellent. Uh, next we have... The behemoth. The behemoth turns to Persephone. Well, okay, we're gonna make this fair. Did I did I miss? Oh, Silas. I skipped you. I'm so sorry, Silas. Okay, I'm going to attack the eye. Very good. I rolled a 13. I don't know <laughs> if there's still a plus one for flank. 
There is still plus one for flank, and, and you also have your bless. bless. Oh, uh, bless, bless, bless has gone away. It did. It was yeah. the blesser. The blesser. I was the. Blesser. Oh, you were the blesser. Ah, yeah. so yeah. sorry. I was say it has, certainly hasn't expired. No, I thought that the no. was the blesser. Only one person no, expired. I was, no, I, I was first, not blessed. This is goddess blessing. Yes. Got it. So my my final tally is eighteen to hit. That is a hit. Falkrin got the sufferer blessing, unfortunately. Okay, so I rolled a ten, and then I'm going to add on whatever smite that I can. Uh, you tell me. I am going to do the divine smite. How divine? And I'm going to push that on the screen, and then it is two d eight. Um. Is the target undead or a fiend? I don't. Th I think the beholder is an aberration. That is correct. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> Lovely. So a total of fourteen. Ooh. Total of fourteen. All magic. The final blow is yours, Silas. Uh, of course. Uh, seeing Falcon go down. <laughs> uh. And Aren't you blind? Sorry. <laughs> I oh, that's step... a good. That's a good question. Were you blinded, Silas? Yes. You were. Well, then. Oh, well. I'm afraid that that attack needs to have been made at a disadvantage. Okay, I can try that again. If you roll higher than it, you still get it because yeah. all the bonuses worked out. <laughs> Let's see what happens, shall we? Rolled hey, higher. Good. Hey. Excellent. So we're going to stick with those <laughs> those numbers. Okay. So uh, yelling and... Um, so you did not see Falkrin go down because you were blind. Yes, blind. Hearing. Hearing Falkrin go down. Uh, I simply stepped forward and using my mind's eye for where the creature was because it has not moved. It just went... <clears throat> then I stepped forward and neatly slice the eyeball in half with my glaive. You feel the power of Bandria Gilmaldreth fall upon you as you swing your blade. And for a brief second, it pierces through the Feywild charm that has blinded you, and you see clear as day. And the eye is sliced in half by your blade. And it ceases to struggle and is consumed and crushed by the mound around it. That is the end of and combat. But then I'm going to step over using my movement 510 and because I don't know, I haven't checked, looks bad, but I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, lay on hands. All right, for the full that I can, which is 15. For better or worse. I, I don't know that it was a crit fail. I don't know that it just looks really bad. Roll d20. I will allow that to stand as Falkrin's final death save. If you wish, Falkrin. You have been called to Ilmater. You stand seconds away from his divine presence. I'm there is the a slimmest chance you feel a call coming back from the prime material plane to return to do work I mean, if you the, wish it I know at the, at the beckoning of my friends um, knowing that I left them in a moment of suffering like I would return knowing that I have not earned my place yet You haven't suffered nearly enough. <laughs> Indeed. Not, not nearly. What's that god of again? The god of suffering? 
The healing power flows from you, blinded. Silas, you're kneeling on the floor. The power of Vandria flows out of you into the lifeless form of Falkron. Moment passes. And then <gasps> she breathes. Oh. Silas, you fall unconscious. Oh, well, she's not dead. <laughs> Is impossible. Were I awake, I'm sure that I would say that's divine. You left us. Are we out of? Um, yes, we're out of combat. We're out of combat. I run into the room and I kneel beside Falcon. What about the uh, the blinding beauty at the top? <laughs> she, sorry, slides off of the mound and collapses here unconscious you said that was the um the final death saving throw right say again that you said that just replaced the final death save that's correct okay in that in that case i will see that she's still struggling for life and quickly try and bandage and close any wounds i will assist um well do you use your your i do medic yeah okay, so. so that's an automatic stabilization uh, is so, uh you are unconscious, Falkron. Mm -hmm. So is Silas down to zero hit points because he's yes, unconscious? Yes, he, he is at zero hit points and unconscious. Oh. So I'm going to um, take my healing potion and like kind of make him drink it. Like when I give my dog a pill. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm glad it's you. If it was Typhon, he'd just give me the vial with the one HP. <laughs> <laughs> with the what? What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear. The, one the vial HP. with the one HP from oh. the pool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that vial. Here you go, Silas. You're all better now. Go back into the fray. <laughs> it is ineffective. The, uh, the Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Wait, I thought you. I thought they removed the curse. I that right. was... You know, they didn't remove the curse, but it is oh, ineffective. Okay. This is something different. This is something different. Sorry, I mean, I didn't laugh that hard at that. Sorry. <laughs> this, this was, this was a divine reordering of fate, and it is not something that can be easily recovered from. So, please mark off the healing potion. And what do you do? Seeing that they're attending to Falcon and Silas is doing something um, silly, I'm sure. But I'm going to go over to the. Um, you said she fell unconscious over there. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to go pick her up. The, she uh, weighs nothing. Yeah, and I'm just heading. I'm just heading straight back down. Now, now that uh, her, um, she's unconscious. You're able to look on her without having to worry who is blind i should have been marking the things i've lost track oh sorry i am i think my right. bad so you crawl <laughs> over there so that doesn't yeah, happen I, so, I feel around I'm, I'm thinking that that doesn't happen yeah so before that's happening and if he's blind some of you who are not blind might see a tiny little pole extending even further coming down from jacks <laughs> and start poking this uh, this creature it's just a tiny, like a fishing rod, like a, like a pole. It's like a 10-foot pole. And you're sitting and thinking, how the hell has Jack's got a 10-foot pole? And he's poking her with it. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Okay. Um, so I, let me just be clear. So Typhon is attending to Falkrin, uh, and Silas is completely unconscious. Correct. So I'm, I can... about to, I'm about to put little things on you to say that you're blinded. So Silas was blinded, but now he's unconscious. You're a Typhon... Ninja. You are, yes, Typhon, you are not blinded. <laughs> Persephone, you are not blinded? You I are blinded. You are blinded, yes. Rim, you are not blinded. I am not. All right. Uh, I will use my medicine skill to stabilize Silas. 
Silence appears to be stable. He's oh, just okay. unconscious. He's just unconscious. Zero hit points and unconscious. The pool. We need to take all of these people, including Apple's mother, to that pool. I think you're right. It, is, uh, it seems she said that would be the answer. But ooh, we have two of our own we need to carry. I don't think I can do either, but I could try to carry the Rim is the a strong mother. bag. I, can, I, could, I could probably carry one at a time. Does this one rouse if I'm poking her with a 10-foot pole? She does not move. <laughs> Right. Jax, come over here. Helping? This isn't helping. You, can, you, you, you can't see, you can't it, see Jax. <laughs> you can just see the pole. And right. the I pole just grab just the get... pole. I just reach out my hand and grab the pole. <laughs> and then you see Jax come out with it. <laughs> you, you could use the beholder's body as like a cot and place us onto the carcass and yeah. drag us by the... Oh, wait, the that's... mound is slowly like, dissipating. It is... Bits and pieces of it are floating off into the air and being carried away like motes of dust in sunlight i look i i, I do a like a, a couple takes i'm like there's the spirit the the, the, the mother <sighs> decaying beholder really interesting living spirit decaying beholder really interesting and then i <sighs> i sigh and i will try to pick up the um get your eyes off my pole <laughs> and let go of the pole and it'll just like spirit, put it back down and it shrinks down to about six Jack's inches. spirit weighs Wait, nothing. Poke, poke that. Just, I'm, I'm curious. Poke it um, near where the eye meets whatever's behind the eye. I want to see how big the um, cords are binding it to the rest of its body. Just do it, please. Uh, do okay. It. <laughs> Should I do it with my sword? Sure. Just while I'm walking by, um, we've got to get this thing down. But, okay. Um, just do it while we're on our way, please. It's uh, Sean, am mm -hmm. I able to carry both uh, Silas and Falkron? Uh What is your current encumbrance? Well, I, I don't mean, have si much Silas on weighs me. 115 pounds, and Falkron is a dwarf. I mean, I, I'm pretty but sure you're going to be okay, but... Armor. Okay. Yeah. I mean... Do you want me to make a check? I can take one as it's well. It's not critical at the moment. If you were like running for your lives, it would be critical, okay. and I'd, I'd want to know the exact numbers. But in this case, it's it's not critical. So I'm you are yes blinded, you are you not, Dorn? So yeah, um, but I can carry his, things. Yeah, let's. <laughs> so, all right. Um, ja here. Jacks Jacks points the eye, and like yeah. those those fungi that are like uh, the the puffer balls, he pokes it, and it just deflates, and dust comes out, and is carried away along uh, with the rest of the. Uh, Shambling mound. That's exciting for Jax for about five seconds, and then he goes in search Jax. of treasure. Jax, there is treasure down with the that um, with Apple. Yes, I need you to safely lead Doran. Doran, can you carry? Um, can you carry the dwarf? And can Rim, can you carry both. Silas? I now, Jax, both. if you lead Doran safely, and Persephone, you keep your hand on Doran's shoulder. We should all be able to get back down there. Yes. The eyes, work. eyes Doran up and down. I can't reach his shoulder. Yeah, no, 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 no. You just go, Doran. You just put your hand on Jax's skull and just steer him. Don't squeeze hard. No, 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 no. Other way around. Jax is steering Doran, right? Oh yes. Incidentally, I've done that with children. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't anybody want to open the door? No. Uh, not now. No. All right. We know what's behind there. <laughs> Enough. All right, we will move. We just got to stay situated. <laughs> that is there anything fun behind there? I can have a quick <laughs> look. I'll have a quick look. I'll you know. never tell. Is there a keyhole? Like magic would tell. A, a second beholder. Yeah. <laughs> is there a keyhole? Uh, there is. is there? I look through the keyhole. All right, make a perception check. Mm -mm -mm. 16. Uh, it's uh, a mass of bones and rotting corpses and tentacles. I think I found where the smell's coming from. <laughs> Describe it. <laughs> bones and 
tentacles. Oh, it looks like there's a treasure in there. And he goes to open it. <laughs> I'm sure he gets yeah. stopped quite quickly. Yes. And I, I have my my hand on your pet or something. I'm like, we can we can do that later. Let's let's go. Oh, good point. Right. Pull you. I'll make start sure walking to go, towards the Make stairs. sure to take our time. Yes, slowly. Um, I will also, as I'm walking, just look up and down the form of this uh, creature I'm carrying and try to. Just memorize as many points of anatomy as I can to try and jot down for later. Um, the the form is fairly uh, standard humanoid, except it's just graceful to the point of being a little unsettling. The arms are a little too long. The ears are tapered like elves, but they're tapered even more. The hair, even though she's unconscious, it seems to keep moving, like us always being... Um, uh, blown by a slight breeze as you move through the dust in the air the dust seems to swirl around her arms and not land on it it floats away she has uh, you could almost feel the the energy that powers her um, emanating through her closed eyes And are you all seeing yourself now on the... Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I'll walk in. <laughs> Make a will save. I was getting that ready. Six. Um, you know what? This is nothing. Pick... You've seen worse for breakfast. Yeah, I pick, pick up some <laughs> flowers and eat them. <laughs> Follow this way. Oh, you've all returned. Right. You're the first to return. Doran Freeporter, you're back. You didn't die. Doran? You're beautiful. I'm afraid he can't see you. They were blinded. Oh, you're you're muted, Carl. I've gone blind, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, (laughs) I failed my save. Lie in the pool. Lie in the pool. And I will walk that way with the. body as well that sounds nice and i i let go of um jacks and just start wandering okay. generally to the right i want to take your boots in. off first for seven he doesn't have to everybody who walks in please make a wisdom save <laughs> i didn't walk in what about those, those who are unconscious <laughs> uh, those who are not unconscious do not have to make a will save <laughs> uh, i look at silas Silas, do you have a rope? I have a... Silas is unconscious. Oh, Silas a... is unconscious. I'm just I have kidding. a 22 on my... It is against a spell, correct, you said? So. Yes. Okay. All of these people are idiots. Clean uh, the goblin. All right. I failed, and so as soon as I walk in, I just kind of go, oh, and I just sit down. Okay, I will make... You know, my... a lot is... There's a lot that's a lot easier now that you don't have to see. There's so many things that you won't have to worry about reading. No bills. You'll never have is... to worry about reading again. Who is Bill? <laughs> exactly. Well, who cares now? In a success Before... and have... Sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. And having been through it a couple times, is there a way to discern the... Kind of what's happening? I think well, you can, like, make a arc... reaction to actually discern the a spell that has been sure, cast Sure, make on. an arcana check. Uh, it, I don't know if that's an actual mechanic. It's just well, I, I will say that since you have moved in and out of it and have experienced its effects, so yes, um, that's uh, okay. <laughs> that's that's good enough. Um, something about these geraniums um, that are casting a spell, calm emotions for everybody who passes through. Yeah, is there a way to sort of uh, get one awake from that spell that's you know not too hurtful to do? Um, Dispel magic. Well, uh, another casting of calm emotions. In a few more levels. Mm. <laughs> I am going to, uh, before I walk through the door, I'm going to um, remove Falkrin's armor um, so it doesn't dissolve in the pool and so I don't forget that that's a good idea before mm-hmm. I walk through if I fail. Um, it's still a little hot to the touch, but not so much that it would burn you. And then, uh, does Silas have any armor on? I believe he does. Chainmail. Okay, I'll 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 
remove both of their armor and their weapons mm. um, before I bring them into the pool, and uh, I will carry them in and keep my fingers crossed. Right. When, when, if, if this works, when Silas and Falkron wake up unclothed next to each other in a hot tub, it's going to be interesting. I'm just going <laughs> to throw that out there. Now we right? still have like our, the undergarments on our guard. So. <laughs> The circumstances surrounding this pool, I didn't think through all the way, but yeah. we're gonna so, we're, we're gonna ride this as long as it goes. I will so. um I will look to Persephone and say, look, go. I will guide her towards the edge of the pool if I may, and then I will minor illusion a um a screen oh, and say, nice. keep towards the edge, do what you need to do. Uh, so I, as I'm there, can I do I have have enough concern or awareness to like just splash my eyes. I'm going to leave that up to you. Okay, so I'm just going to just think that it's instead of getting in, I'm just gonna splash my whole face and and you know, just like if I were washing my face. All right, you wash away the blindness. I have rolled a 13 on my wisdom save. You have failed, Rim. Okay, uh, I'm still uh, carrying them. Years probably. and years and years of worry and care and just negative emotion falls away and everything is bright and beautiful. I'm still holding my friends. Okay. Uh, I'm going to happily carry them to the pool. All right. Jax is still eating the flowers. Uh, burps and then sneezes on the pollen. <laughs> Make a constitution save. You've eaten a lot of these magic flowers. <laughs> I've, after Once I've stumbled my way over there, I'm just shoving my head in the pool. 17. Yeah, All right. Flowers. You're, you're fine. Doran, you uh, you have washed away your blindness as well. You're lucky. You're lucky, Jax. You almost got the munchies. <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, so that takes care of Doran and um, Persephone. What else? Who else we have working on here? Uh, I think is Rim holding Silas still? I'm carrying them both. Yeah. Yeah. They are both in the pool now. So I look over at Rim and like, "Hey, what? Put them in the pool. It feels great." <laughs> but like, I'm not worried for their safety at all. I just think it would be fun. Perhaps a bit of. Never mind. Is uh, is Apple around here somewhere? Yes, I'm here. I see. Yeah, we, we brought your uh, staring your mother, at. Think. Oh, and I'm holding her mother, I guess. Oh, okay, I was going to say <laughs> she's been looking around. <laughs> Did you? She's here. Yes. Um, okay. She stops and falls to her knees. She looks so small. You're small, too. But she's the, supposed the to be... Mound. She's supposed to be huge. She's... She has so much power. What happened? She was she, much bigger upstairs. Yeah. She used much of it to conquer a mighty beast. She is the one who slayed the master. We were only there to help, I'm afraid. She... She killed the master. Eyeball. Yes, she did. Well, we must... We must get out of the pool. Quickly. Yeah. I will walk that way. And please make a bit of space and then lay her down in the waters. The water briefly supports the body of Abela. And then the water level begins to go down as it seems like it's being sucked into her. Her eyes open 
with a green flash that sends a wave of energy out from under her and all of the plants around you instantly burst into flower. Butterflies appear out of the air and a bird suddenly pops into being on the tree and begins to sing. She takes a breath. And you feel the breeze emanate from her as if standing in a forest and feeling the trees sway back and forth under a summer storm. She opens her eyes and the nimbus of green light around her fades. And you find that you can look on her without being blinded. She sits up with a languid move of her arm, places it on the side of the pool and comes to her kneeling position and looks out at all of you like a doe. Who are you, mortals? Well, we, we, I'm a friend of your, your daughter's, ma'am. And she wanted, uh, wanted us to help you. My daughter? My daughter? She stands and looks around, instantly tense. Mother, I'm here. Apple comes running up, and Abela calms down a bit and reaches a hand out and touches her, closes her eyes and nods her head down, moving slowly. You, you all were there. You helped me defeat it. Why did you do this? Apple asked us to. <sighs> She's rather charming, your daughter. She nods her head knowingly. Yeah. Long ago, I was tricked into servitude by the creature known as Ramazith. It would gaze upon me and allow the power of the Feywild to blind it so that it could practice magic in spite of its natural hindrance. It used my offspring as an insurance against my rebellion. Thanks to your help, we can finally leave this accursed place. She looks at Apple. The dryad seems entranced. She suddenly doesn't seem as childish as she was only a few moments ago. She stands taller as if the energy emanating from Abela is somehow strengthening her. She reaches up in much the same languid way that Abela is moving and picks a nut from a tree and hands it out to you, Doran. Our oh, thanks. Thank you, of course. And I'll just, just take it. All right. All of a sudden, Apple snaps briefly out of this trance. She says, oh, I nearly forgot. And she runs over to behind the fountain, reaches down, picks something that you can't see. And she's holding it in her hands as if there's something there, but it's completely invisible to you. And brings it over to you, Doran, and holds out her hands as if she has something for you to take. I hold out my hands. You receive an invisible box, as far as you can tell. 
Well, this is interesting. Thank you. No. Thank you, mortals. Avela, before you leave, do you remember another prisoner here named... Oh, God, what was her name? Elila. 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 The succubus. Yes, also part of the creature Ramazith's plan. Somehow, he was able to use her to alter his mind so that the Feywild charms would be effective against him, allowing him to blind himself and thus practice magic. Ah. She raises an eyebrow, which is strange to see such a common mortal expression on something so alien and otherworldly. Do you have any other questions? Our friends uh, aren't feeling so well. Also the book. And well? She looks down. I wounded this one. She's looking at Falkron. She waves a hand and pollen seems to fall from her and it sinks down onto Falkron's face and it glows gold for a moment. Falkron, you are healed. 13 hit points. Does she come awake? She does. And I I say, um, you see, in this particular magic, her corpse will be reanimated. Some soul will remain, but she can serve us for a time being. She... And then I crack a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I take no credit. <laughs> Sorry. She seems confused at your words, but then seems to let it go, and she steps over to Silas. This one. She moves her hand over him. This one is far away. I cannot help him. Hmm. Now, she looks over to you, Falkrin, and you're sitting in a pretty empty pool. Just sort of sitting on your butt. Um, your clothing has mostly dissolved, Falkrin. What? What happened? I... Where did I go? I reach out a hand to get you up and out, but I hand you my blanket from my back. So, Falkrin, you have moved away from the pool. Yeah. Abela and Apple begin to walk towards it. And as they do, the pool begins to deepen. Not with water. It seems like it's a, goes from being a pool to a well. Deeper and deeper and deeper. As you look into it, you feel as if it's passed out of this realm completely. And at the very bottom is a thin green dot. They step into the pool and begin to sink slowly away. Should we ask about the book? Book? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> and it's too late. They are gone. Book? <laughs> Jack's uh, tugs on Rim's... Uh shirt or something uh, uh, I, I look down at him he like with his mouth and go rim and it's a couple of butterflies come out left my tongue yellow <laughs> <laughs> it's all I, sorts of colors can't you see it i pick him up and i put him on my shoulder <laughs> and i growl quietly stay still little one abela and apple are gone 
and I, I look still what? into the pool and I'm like, about that book! <laughs> That's the charm Persephone. effect's gone. Yes, the charm effects have gone. Uh, Bale, uh, Persephone, if you look too much longer, you might not be able to resist following. Okay. Uh, right. So am I still charmed? Uh, no. Okay. The and charm not, and, and the... Um, the, the well, the flowers are still there. Are the flowers, the flowers still are active? Still there, yeah. The flowers are still active. Yes. Okay. Someone please tell me what the hell is going on. Everybody's really <laughs> calm, though. You're you're very calm. You should I'm probably make a wish. Going say. down <laughs> to Eden, yes, brother. You're, right. you're a zombie, Falcon. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <man>. Make <laughs> oh. a deception check. <laughs> Stop that. Well, I don't like zombies. <laughs> People always, when I, when I heal people, they always wake up and look at me and scream. I just thought maybe the right type of bedside manner humor would be the right way to go. But was that might not have been right? Thirteen. <laughs> All right, that's that is both high enough to be funny and low enough to not be taken seriously. <laughs> Perfect. That's right in the sweet spot. Oh no, Jack thinks he's serious. Okay. <laughs> Jack's eyes are wide. Still got his tongue Jax, out. Just so you know, the, the way to sh just the way to kill a zombie. Make sure you go in the middle of the night and just dump a whole bucket of holy water on its face. <laughs> That'll get it for good. That's the only way to get a zombie. Doran, you're holding an invisible box. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that Typhon said last session about condescending? <laughs> <laughs> it's a super intelligent goblin. This is what you got to do. <laughs> um yeah I'm, I'm still holding this box but i'm pretty chill like yeah somebody's we're, we're all very relaxed and groovy at the moment yeah <laughs> since i've now regained consciousness so i need to make a wisdom save no you do not because they're not there they're not here Oh, well, the, the, but the flowers are still in fact. Right? Typhon well, yeah. is the only one who is not um, affected by this. Currently. No, and Falkron also, when Falkron passed through, Falkron was unconscious, so she did not fall under the effects. Oh, I see. Oh. You see, um, everyone else around us is under a spell, Falkron. Am I not immune to him now, as I've eaten like, a couple of bouquets? <laughs> well, you could always test what, it. What happened with the mound? What? How... Oh, you were killed, I... and Silas had uh, brought you back, but it seems to have done some sort of exchange that we haven't figured out how to... It um... killed him. Well, he's just not here. Wh what? What? Uh, that's all we know. Well, we have, we have to help him. I agree. I mean, it's beyond our fine. means at the moment, I think. Did we try putting him in the pool yet? We can't now. Well, there is no more water. Well, well, and the pool is currently a vortex to like Greenland, right? Fight world, yep. Greenland. Yep. Uh, green, <laughs> unemployed <laughs> in Greenland. <laughs> um, as much as I'd like to play this out with the, uh, the grooviness feel, I would like to. Um, Tell you what is in this box if somebody ah, wishes okay. to ask. What box? What's, what's in the box? box? Exactly. What's in the box? box? <laughs> I really want to tell you what's in the box. You open it. Kind of of I'm order. sorry, Sean. We're out of time. Yeah, I'm we sorry. Stir up. It's three, two, one. Uh, that's, that's... The network has cut you off. Yeah. And Doran <laughs> opens the box. We'll see you all next week for. <laughs> <laughs> Doran opens the box. Just out of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> and inside is a. Small blue silk bag. Another bag of beans. Jesus. Just kidding. <laughs> Some crown roll. I'll open them up. <laughs> yeah. Put it up. It appears to this be empty. This is a bag of rice. This is a bag of rice to add to the Ooh. beans. <laughs> it appears to be empty, but as you put your hand in to check, you immediately start to get a little bit of a sort of a spreadsheet, if you will, of what it contains. And it contains more than a bag this size should contain. 150 gold pieces. One elixir of health. Dumped on the ground, all of this. Shalemorn's, Shalemorn's Stone of Transference. And what? four spell books. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? 
<laughs> you got to watch out for that. Uh, hey, did you say spell watch books? Out for that. I did. I yeah, said four spell, spell books. books. Whoa. I've, I've just like been, I pulled out like handfuls of gold and threw them down. I uh, got the elixir and just kind of like set that down. I just, I just keep pulling stuff out and just setting it on the ground. I have this image of you like dumping the coins on the ground and Jack's like scooping them up. And Jack, yeah, up. he's never seen so much gold. He's like, oh my god. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Tucked in between the pages of one of the spell books is a long list of what appears to be book titles. Next to each title are three numbers. You look down the list and you find Decrypting the Inferno, a comprehensive study of the innards and reproductive biology of our devilish cousins. And hey. uh, devilish cousins. And next to it are the numbers 5, 3, and 11. Oh, that's for the other room. Mm hmm. Absolutely. You guys got a library catalog. Just like looking in the bag and like trying to. Uh, your hand, your hand goes all the way in, all the way up, to, up to the shoulder. <laughs> I put my head in it. <laughs> There's no air. You can't breathe. <gasps> it's, it's amazing. All, all these damn adventures. <laughs> so, I grabbed the bag off his head. <laughs> so. <gasps> I think we will leave the scene there with the party standing around a pile of treasure, most of them completely uncaring of the fact that one of their members nearly died and the other one is unconscious against the wall. Uncaring not because they are, you know, shallow, mean people, but because they're under a spell. And Typhon and Falkron I'm a little around medium. worriedly. And yes. that will be the end of oh. session five. <laughs> Good save, guys. <laughs> Thank you all for those who watched.